Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be going over a bug someone noticed when we're logging in and it's because of the Apollo cache and it makes it really easy to see this bug if you have the Apollo client dev tools. So I'd recommend installing this if you'd like to also see and follow along with this video. I'll link this in the description below. I'm not sure if they have a Firefox version or not, um, but they do have a Chrome version. So when you have that installed, what you can do is you can inspect and there's now a Apollo um, tab in when you inspect and you can use that. So I'm currently on just this page right here. Uh, I'm not logged in and if I click on Apollo over here I can see the cache and there's nothing in the cache right now. So now here's the bug. If I go over to create listing what's going to do is it's going to um, check whether I am a user and fetch it and it's going to return null because I'm not logged in and then we get redirected. Now there's some weird stuff that happens with Apollo. If it ever goes blank like this, um, what I usually do is I just close and reopen the inspect and uh, it seems to connect and load OK. So whenever this thing connects we're going to be able to see the cache and I'm just going to reopen that again because it should be able to connect by now. As you can see it is a little bit janky so there we go. So here's what our cache looks like. So I'm not logged in. So when I went over to that URL, it fetched me. And we can see this is currently in the cache. And so we have cached the value that me is null. Now, the way we have this set up is when I log in now, it should redirect me back. Um, it's going to log me in. If the login is successful, it knows it should redirect me back. If we come, I don't know if I'm still, yep. So. I'm saying here's the next page, so after I'm done here, it's going to redirect me to create listing. But when I click log in, um, you'll notice we stay on this page, and the reason for that is you'll notice the cache is not changing. Me is still equal to null, even after we fire off this mutation. So you can see this mutation has fired off, um, but me is null. So what that means is when I go over to the page that requires authentication, uh, it's going to look up this value. It's being cached right now. And the cache value is going to be null, so that means we can't log in. So the way we're going to solve this is whenever the user logs in, what we really should be doing is resetting um, the store. So whenever a user logs in, we don't want to store any kind of cached values because this could be coming from all sorts of other things before the user even logged in. Maybe they are logged in as another user um, and they had some values cached. So we just want to make sure we start um, this user fresh, and so we're going to reset the cache. And so that's what we're going to go through in this video, actually how you reset that. So the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to add something to the login controller. So this is going to be the controller package. And we're going to be using a higher order component called with Apollo. So now what with Apollo does is I can come down here and I can wrap my component. So I'm going to say with Apollo. And the reason why I am, and I, do I have to just pass in props? Yeah, so I'm going to say props. And I'm going to say as any. The type definitions are kind of annoying to get correct with this sort of thing. So I usually just end up doing casting C to anything to get this to work. Now, you'll notice I'm, I'm doing it in kind of an interesting way. Whenever I have two higher order components like this, I'll usually use something called Compose, but Compose that comes with React Apollo really messes up the type definitions for TypeScript, so I'm not going to use them here. Um, Recompose is a package that actually comes with a very nice Compose function that works well with TypeScript. I've used that in the past, but I don't really want to get into that with this video. I want to focus on how you reset the store. So we're, we're wrapping our component now with this with Apollo. And this is how you do it if you don't want to use Compose. So we have this GraphQL higher order component that then wraps this guy who is a higher order component. So now I need to add props for it. And the props for it is with Apollo Client with a capital W here. And I think it works in a similar manner that the child mutate props work where you have this angle brackets. So I'm going to say with Apollo Client. And I'm going to wrap it like that. So you'll notice the first prop here um, looks like this now. So I'm saying with Apollo client and then I'm angle bracketing, angle brackets and then I have props here. 
And what this is going to do is now in my const props or this dot props, and I'm going to do this at the bottom here, is I have access to this thing called client. So what client is, is this is the Apollo client. And from here, I could query. So I could call a query. I could call a mutation if I want to. Um, and there's all sorts of little things that you can do. The thing that I'm going to call is the reset store. So and that's going to go ahead and wipe the store. And that's it. So it's actually pretty simple to reset the store. So basically what we're doing is we're making sure the user logs in successfully, right? So if they make it this point, they have. And then we're just resetting the store. So I'm going to come over here, CD packages controller, and just build it. And now we can see the cache should get reset, and then we should refetch, and we should get the right user. And so you can use this with Apollo Client also for other things besides just resetting the store. So sometimes you might want to fire off a query whenever someone presses a button or something. That's where you can use this guy right here. And I want to make sure and this reset OK, it did. So now let's take a look at the same sequence and see if it has different results. So now you'll notice it still has these values here. Again, I'm just going to reopen inspect and it should reset them. Um, so now we have nothing in our cache. And I'm going to get rid of my cookie. So now I'm going to come over here to create listing. And it redirects me to login, perfect. And okay, let's reopen again. And all right, I'll do it twice. All right, so me is currently null. Let's go ahead and log in with our user. And you'll see it wipes Apollo. I'm able to now be redirected to create listing correctly. And if I were to reopen Apollo and we look at what the cache value is, we can now see that uh, we have this root me. And me is correct, correct now. It has the email c at c.com. So that's how we can handle that. And this is kind of a similar thing that we're going to do when we log out. So I want to cover that in tomorrow's video. It's actually how you log out a user. And we're going to be using um, the with Apollo to actually reset the store and make sure there's not any cache values. So if you guys were having any problems with logging in and redirection, that's what's going on there. Um, and that's how you can solve that problem.